Little has been said about the contribution of scaffolding to the history of construction. These structures are generally treated as mere equipment, and as a result, their records are very scarce. However, without scaffolding, it would be almost impossible to construct most of the buildings we know today. Hello everyone, welcome to Civil Mentors. Today, we are taking a look at the history of scaffolding that nobody talks about. So, let's dive in. Scaffolding allows workers to reach and move materials at difficult construction points, providing safety and comfort. But in addition to its role as a support structure for buildings, scaffolding can also be used for mobile, temporary, and even permanent structures. It is estimated that scaffolding was first used around 17,000 years ago in the Paleolithic period. Holes in the walls in caves in southwestern France, which presumably fix these support structures, suggest that rudimentary scaffolding helped our ancestors make cave paintings. Another important record of scaffolding use dates to 1450 BC in Egypt, wherein Egyptian paintings illustrate the construction of an obelisk with the aid of scaffolding. Like wood and steel, bamboo is widely used for the construction of scaffolding especially in Asia. Bamboo is a highly structurally resistant material for tensile and compression efforts, and it grows very quickly and can be harvested and used easily. The connections between bamboo trunks can be tied using vegetable or plastic ropes. In fact, the junction between the scaffolding pieces was its primary weakness for a long time, an issue that required considerable time during assembly. An important actor in this history was Daniel Palmer Jones, who with his brother set up the patent Rapid Scaffold Tie Company Limited in England. In 1911, they patented a set of fixings for wooden logs and metal tubes that were being introduced to the market at the time. The solution was called Rapid Scaffixers and used iron chains tied to small pieces embedded in the wood. In 1923, with the advancement of metallurgy, metallic tubes became more and more common, and the same company developed other fixation systems, which are still seen on construction sites today. This system joined the tubular parts with clamps, screws, and knots, achieving much more resistance and practical efficiency in the assembly. Another extremely important patent was the frame system created by a construction worker who had survived the fall from a collapsed wooden scaffold. During his recovery, he designed a steel frame that was safer and more practical than the wooden easels he used to use. Nowadays, it is almost impossible to find a construction project that has not used scaffolding at any stage of the work. But in addition to its traditional auxiliary use, we have seen the use of scaffolding as a primary material in some projects. Whether in pavilions, temporary structures, art installations, or even interior designs, the structural flexibility, ease of assembly, lightness, and translucency of scaffolding structures can be matched. That's all for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment below if you think scaffolding is an unsung hero of the construction. Also, don't forget to subscribe to us and press that notification bell icon so that you get all our latest videos. Thank you.